God. So here's the immoral going into violating moral principles. And it goes into uh, deliberately violating accepted principles of right and wrong. You know, it goes if you go down, it goes to wicked, bad, wrong, abandoned, evil, corrupt, vicious, obscene, indecent, vile, degenerate, dishonest, pornographic, sinful, you know, sinful, unethical, you know, lewd, depraved, impure, you know, so debauched, unprincipled, so you get the get the message. And moral goes into um Moral, ethical, moral responsibility, lesson, the moral of the story, but uh, it goes into upright, honest, straightforward, virtuous, you know, honorable. You know, you have the virtuous, uh, to find a virtuous woman is, is a hard thing. You know, and in this day and age, you know, you, you, hey man, people just finally said in great dig dignity, let me just say that. So um, here, moral of or concerned with the judgment of right and or wrong of human action and character. You know, so teaching or exhibiting goodness or correctness of character and behavior. Uh, that goes into a moral lesson. You know, it's also with that, but uh, the, the first one, you know, the right and wrong. Yeah, goes hand in hand. You know, conforming, conforming to standards of what is right or just in behavior, virtues, you know, so. That's an important thing. Let me go to uh, a few scriptures concerning uh, what was going on. And you see that Esau's a damn hypocrite, hypocrite man. You know, and we've been telling y'all that, uh, you know, Second Thessalonians, Second chapter, this man is the wicked man that the Bible speaks of, you know. So Second Thessalonians 2, verse 3, Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. So this son of perdition, that's Esau, man, the son of destruction. You know, everything he, he sets his uh, eyes upon, he gets his red claws uh, you know, uh, on he destroys man. He morally, and he destroys it in the physical sense, man. He attacks you in the spirit. He attacks you, uh, uh, you know, in the in a physical sense. You know, poisoning the food, poisoning the air, poisoning uh, all things that you uh, see by putting all types of sodom sodomy around you. You know. Forcing people uh, to accept it, you know, all types of immoral uh, things is uh, uh, are being promoted by Esau, man. You know, so Esau he, he is the one that is going out raping, robbing, and murdering, and and building. And he built his uh, cities upon bloodshed, man. You know, just like in seventy A.D.s. Uh, 70 AD, you know, still until this day, this devil is doing all types of wickedness, man. So, let me go to uh, Malachi 1 and jump to the point of 4, whereas Edom said, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord. Let me see. Thus said the Lord, uh, Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord had indignation forever. <clears throat> so, this is uh, uh, the Most High is angry with these devils uh, forever, man, because, you know, the scriptures are clear, man. Esau, you know, is the one that uh, the most I hated, man. So, let me go to, uh, and they can think that they're going to build back better and doing all types of BS. You're not going to make it, man. 
And if you go to this word wickedness, then you see wickedness, wickedness in civil relations, and civil goes into uh, the, the common people, wickedness of enemies, wickedness in ethical and religious sense, man. So concerning uh, his, his morals, you know, he got everything twisted up, man. That's why the world is such a, a wicked place, man. Because the wicked bear it rule. And the people are mourning. And you see that even uh, the animals, and we take a look at the ocean, you know, how many whales are beaching themselves and how many plastic is in the ocean, how many uh, spills, how many poisonous and, and how many things that destroy the earth are being dumped into the ocean, rainforests, uh, rainforests being cut down, you know, this devil needs to go, man, you know, and you see that in the strong definitions, uh, it goes into wrong, especially moral, fault, wickedly, you know, in his, uh, wickedness, so, Esau is the is the one that is destroying everything, man. He's a violent piece of dung. Psalm 140, verse 1. Deliver me, O Yahweh, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischief in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. And that's why I see this devil, you know, he can bomb the whole place, but, you know, he is uh, selectively angry. Because it fits his agenda. And all these devils need to go. Russia, Ukraine, all of them, man. Because they're all working, uh, you know, for the left-hand side, man. They're all working on the left-hand side. But these devils will be taken out of power. And Russia may think that they're going to rule, but hey, that's not going to happen, man. And America will be destroyed. So... Let me go to this world of this uh, word violent. And it goes into violence, wrong, cruelty, injustice. And that's what he's doing because Esau be killing children. You know, he had these uh, children uh, up in Libya when uh, Gaddafi was uh, ruling. You know, he saw a child with uh, his, the, the, his jaw just totally missing, man. And this is what Esau is doing. The majority of his victims, in many cases, are children. They have nothing to do with this whole warfare. They're just civilians. Esau doesn't give a damn. And a lot of people that go in the, uh, up in the army and they go to Afghanistan, to uh, all these places over there, they come back totally twisted up, man, because they see what and the, most of them start are starting to see what's going on, man. And when they come back, they don't even uh, Esau doesn't even take care of his own soldiers, man. And that's one of the things that uh, the Most High hates, you know, for a man that uh, went to war that come uh, that comes to, uh, to to poverty, man. They're not even taking care of, of their own people. But this is just all. You know, wars, rumors of wars, Esau's wicked plans. That is all part of this, uh, uh, all part of prophecy, all part of what needs to happen, man. It might be harsh, but famine is coming, you know, and the most I will protect the ones that have faith in him, man. And if you go to Lamentation chapter 4, let me see. What was it? Verse 9. They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. So it's better to die in, 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 in by the by the sword, like in warfare or you know, with a weapon, than to die of hunger, man. For these pine away, stricken true for want of the fruits of the field. So you pine away is an anguish, uh, a horrible, slow death. 
organs shutting down, your body aching. This is something that you don't want. You know, find a way goes into, you see, the flow gush issue discharge. And it goes into, um, let me see, to waste away slowly. Let me look up to find a way. Let me see if it says something here. Find a way to lose vigor, health, or flesh. That's through grief. After her husband dies, she just finds a way, just and it goes into become weaker. It goes into languish and waste. You just waste away, like the blue that is said. You know, it goes into to uh, to use. Uh, let me see. That's not what it is. Goes into also to exhaust, to become exhausted, being wasted. Uh, what?